Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nate's Pink Book Show. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And today's video is going to be a book haul and I have a total of 40 books. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me, but I have a beautiful mix, mainly fantasy because I'm a fantasy reader. I love fantasy, whether it's fantasy romance, dark fantasy, um, grim dark fantasy, epic fantasy, high fantasy, YA fantasy, adult fantasy. I love fantasy, including middle grade. So we have a bunch of books. Um, most purchased, most sent to me for review. So we're going to get through here. Um, so I'm going to start off with my middle grade because I do have quite a few books that are middle grade. So the first one here is Dragon Watch Champion of the Titan Games by Brandon Maul. This is the fourth book in the series. I'm not sure how many books are going to be in the series, but this is the fourth one. I do own the other ones as well. So the first book is Dragon Watch, of course, followed by Wrath of the Dragon King, which we are here for some dragons. Followed by the Master of the Phantom Isle. So we have that. And now we have book four. So on my shelves together, they are going to look so beautiful. Let's see if I can hold them together. They're just going to look beautiful. So there you go right there. So Dragon Watch, the Champion of the Titan Games. I'm not going to do um, any synopsis for this because this is going to be a long, long haul. So just 40 books. I'm going to run through them and show you them and tell you the genre. So middle grade fantasy. Followed by that, I actually picked this up at Walmart. It was about five bucks, and it's Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. Many people have been raving about this middle grade series. All that I know is it's middle grade fantasy um, with fairies involved in like a different type of world, so almost urban fantasy ish. So that's all I know, and I'm excited to dive into this. Next thing I have is going to be a part of the Chills series, I guess, and it's Fiends on the Other Side by Vera Strange, and I'm so excited about this because it is a Disney Chills featuring a black main character, and I'm super, super stoked for that really short read, so I'm super excited to get into this. Following that, we have The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. This is the fourth suit, which is book four. This book is so adorable. I just, mm, everything about it is so cute. It is middle grade, uh, sort of fantasy, mystery I don't really know how to describe it, but it deals with magic, so it's fantasy, I guess. But uh, yeah, magic, mystery, thriller type of book. And I think this book is gorgeous. Like, the magic misfits on it, it has a spade, the number four. I have a hardcover copy of it. Um, and thank you so much to Little Brown readers to send in to me this book. I think it's adorable, so we have that. The next book I have is The Sisters of Stray Garden Place by Haley Chewins. And it is gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. I love the cover of this book it's just a uh, holographic i love not holographic but the foiling on here is absolutely gorgeous it gives off that kind of creepy vibe it's so atmospheric i love the lyrical writing in this um all the books that i do have reviews for will be down below in the description so you can definitely check that out because i'm just gonna fly through these but this is middle grade oh fantasy middle grade fantasy in a sense there we go Okay, so the next set of books are all going to be Christian-related books, so Christian fiction, biblical fiction, things like that. So um, this first one I love so much. I'm so happy to have this. This is actually from my favorite biblical fiction author ever, and it's going to be Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshar. Um, this is actually the new revised updated 10th anniversary edition, and it is gorgeous. I love that rose gold foiling. And it's on the spine, and it's on the back cover. Like... This book, it's just gorgeous, and I have a reading vlog for this coming soon. Um, it will not be on this channel, though. It'll be on my other channel. So by the time you see this, that video should be up. So just click it out to go to my reading to my other channel to watch the reading vlog for it. But um, it is biblical fiction all about the story of Rahab. Okay, so the next book I have is A Christian Suspense, and it's Nine by Rochelle Decker. I have read The Girl Behind the Red Rope, written by her and her father, Ted Decker. But I'm excited to own this. This has some correlation to The Girl Behind the Red Rope, but not much. But um, yeah, we have this. We have a Christian fantasy next, and it's called Dragon Spell by Donita Dan Dan Donita K. Paul, I think is how you say it. But it is a YA Christian fantasy about dragons. I'm here for it. I can't wait to read it. Next book is a YA Christian fantasy, um, and it's Unblemished by Sarah Ella. I have heard that this has some Christian aspects, which is why I'm saying that it is Christian. But if it's not, it's definitely YA fantasy, so we have it. Next book I have is Curio by Evangeline Denmark. I again also heard this has some Christian aspects to it, but it is fantasy more steampunk than anything and I love me a good steampunk. I haven't found that many steampunk novels so I'm open and excited to read this. The next two books I have are from the same series and it's called The Chronicle of Brothers and this is book one. It's called The Fall of Lucifer. It's by Wendy Alec and it's Christian fantasy. The sequel is called The First Judgment Messiah. So here we go. And I really love the foiling on it. I'm wondering what the other books look like because this one has silver foiling on it and on the spine and this one has gold. So yeah, we have these two and I'm excited to try them out and see if I like them. 
The next book I have is going to be a, I don't know if this is, I think this is adult, not more so YA, but it's adult Christian fantasy and it's called The Skin Map by Stephen R. Lawhead. It's the first book in the Empire, the Bright Empires series trilogy. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it sounds interesting. So we have this. I have a romantic suspense that's Christian based and it's called The Haunting at Bonaventure Circus by Jamie Jo Wright. This honestly sounds to me like a suspense novel set in a circus but it's also dual time because it's telling the story of a murder that supposedly happened at the circus back in 1928 and then you come to the present time where the circus depot is now um, up for I guess sale or whatever and um, it has to be saved or it has to be sold and there's some mysteries to the unsolved murders that took place at the time so it sounds like it's gonna be interesting i'm excited to dive into this so we have this the next book is the edge of belonging by amanda cox this is going to be christian uh contemporary and this one is told in dual timelines from two times in history following ivy rose yes ivy rose and then 24 years earlier is following harvey james who basically finds a newborn baby and raises her but harvey james is homeless so it's those two stories connecting to write this beautiful just painstakingly gorgeous story the next book is going to be blessed by um a.l bryant the prodigal daughter now i actually own this already i have an arc of this but this is christian sci-fi um sci-fi slash fantasy and um i just wanted to finish a copy of it so i did get one the next is a christian amish novel I'm not too big on Amish books, but this one sounded good, so I'm going to give it a try. And it's called Hester on the Run. It's the first book in the Hester Hunt for Home by Linda ba Baylor? Byler? Byler? Baylor? I don't know. I'm not big on Amish novels because I have my feelings about Amish novels, but we have it. The next four books come from the same company called Ambassador International. I did reach out to them and ask them and requested these four books for review. So the first one is called Romance and Redemption. Enjoy the Book of Ruth. Um, it's by Timothy Cross. So it's basically sort of like a mini Bible study book, but it's really short. So we have that. I have a middle grade read called The Prince of Wisdom by R.C. Jones. Then I have two biblical fictions. The first one is The Son of the Father by Andrew Stone. And this story follows Barbas, who was traded for Jesus so that Jesus could be crucified on the cross. So I'm interested in this story. And then we have Of Friends and Followers by S.A. Jewell. And um, it just sounded interesting. It's about a young lady named Miriam who's a widow in Judea. Um, she must go to Capernaum and live as a beggar. Then she is almost left for dead after she's attacked. There's a leaper who helps her. And then she goes on a journey, meets some friends, and comes across to Jesus of Naz Nazareth. So it's a New Testament story and I'm super, super excited for this. Okay, the last three books I actually just got in the mail today. <laughs> um, I reached out to an author. Her name is Barbara Brighton. Britain, Brighton, I don't know how to say it, it's on the screen, but I did reach out to her and um, sent the email asking if I could review up some of her books. She sent me the three that I requested, which is so amazing, so I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging. Uh, she sent me a card, which is awesome, so I'm not gonna look at that right now, but I have a thank you card from her. But um, she sent me Providence, it's called Hannah's Journey. And this, I know for a fact, follows the young girl from Second Kings chapter five, I think it is, and um, also, uh the guy's name is Naman. i don't know what he was i think he was a soldier or something like that in the army um but yeah this one follows a young girl that was taken as a slave or a servant um into Naman's household and i'm interested to really read this because i did read a middle grade story all about the little servant girl and i thought it was amazing i'm interested to see how this one goes with her writing this book the next book we have is Jerusalem Rising. It's called Ada's Journey. And this one takes place focusing on the book of Nehemiah when Nehemiah had to go back to uh, Jerusalem to rebuild the walls. So it's following that story, which sounds really interesting. I love the prophet Nehemiah in general. So I'm excited to dive into this. The last one is the first book in her Daughters of Zelophed. I think that's what it, the trilogy is called. And this one is the Lioness Mala, Mala's Journey. Um, and to keep her orphan sisters together, Mala must boldly request an inheritance that will change history. So we have that. I'm super excited for these. Um, and each of them she sent a bookmark with. I'm so excited for. So they each have an, a bookmark that matches the uh, book. So yeah, I have these three. And I'm super, super grateful that she actually did send these to me. So I'm going to be featuring these on my Christian channel because obviously they're Christian related books. But I also wanted to share them on here because they're books that I got. So we have these. Okay, so those are all of the like Christian and middle grade books. So now we're gonna get into <laughs> this stack of books here. Yeah, uh, don't ask, don't ask. Just know I never pay full price for a book unless I'm at, not even at Barnes and Noble's do I pay full price. So yeah, I've never paid full price for a book like ever. So yeah. Um, so starting at the top, way up here, 
Um, I have Surfing and Zone by Shelby Maharin. This is YA Fantasy. I know that many people read about this series or trilogy series. I think it's going to be a trilogy. But many people have read about this and I decided to finally give it a go. I will be reading it this month. So any books you see with these tabs in just mean that I'm going to be reading it for this month. Um, I always separate my books uh, by days. Like I, t I tend to read certain pages certain amount of pages a day so I always separate it this would be a four day read but for the month of October I'm trying to read one to two books a day like a full book so pray for me but uh yeah this is YA fantasy that is about a witch and a witch hunter and them getting married and falling in love enemies to lovers type of thing um I heard that this is really angsty really steamy lots of drama um so I'm excited to dive into this Next, I have a book that I read before and I did give it a part star rating and it's The Diviners by Libra Bray. Um, I needed this because I'm doing the Supernatural Thon and this is a, the buddy read or the group read for that. So um, I decided to get this. I enjoyed it. I kind of like the new covers on these on this book. Um, but I feel like every time they came out with a new book, there was a new cover. Like there was like four cover changes, which why but um i like this so i do i'm going I, I have this one i have the sequel but in the original cover and then i'm going to get books three and four in this edition if i can find them so yeah the next book i have is priest of bones by peter mclean i think that's how i say it and it's a part of the war for the rose throne um i know nothing about this except that it's why uh not why it's adult fantasy that is all i know and that's all i care to know so yeah <laughs> The next book I have is The Great Bastards by Jonathan French and um, I don't remember the name of the series but I think that this follows um, orcs not orcs are they orcs I think they're orcs I believe they're based on orcs uh, if I am not mistaken someone told me that or I heard it on a video but um, yeah it says live in the saddle die on the hog so I believe that the characters in this are orcs. Don't quote me on that, but it sounded really good when I heard it from, I, I watched it on somebody's YouTube channel, they talked about it, and it sounded really good, so I got it. Um, the next book was sent to me for a review, and it's called Serpent Rising by Victor, I'm not even going to attempt to say his last name, right, right there. Um, it's the first book in the saga of Venom and Flame, and this one is actually an autographed copy, so it is autographed from the author on the inside. I also have some goodies from the author on the inside so i'm all here for it and this is going to i think it's adult fantasy yeah 21 so it's adult fantasy deals with magic things like that so the next book is going to be poison by jennifer donnelly and this is a fairy tale retelling of snow white ya fantasy the next book i got is from julie c dow and it's the mirror broken wish it says family curses always start somewhere and this is supposed to be a series written by a bunch of other authors i believe you have um it's gonna be julie c dow ll mckinney jc cervantes i think and daniel clayton um and it's going to be following one family over several generations and the curses that plague them this is set in germany in 1865 so i believe it's going to be historical fantasy series um ya written by them and this book cover is just gorgeous to me so yeah the next three books are from book of the month for my september picks so if you haven't seen that just click the honor screen but my actual pick was um from sue monk kid it's the book of longies this is historical fiction all about the wife of jesus if he would have had a wife so we have this we have a sci-fi which is the space between worlds by Messiah. A part of me wants to say Messiah. The other part of me want to say want to say Mikeia. I, I don't know how to say the, the author's name. I apologize. I should have looked this up prior to the video. But it's the space between worlds, so it's it's sci-fi with LGBT plus uh, rep in it. <laughs> the last book is also sci-fi, but this one is YA, and um, it's called The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. And I'm probably saying her, her first name wrong, and I apologize. But um, this one is about aliens that invade New York City, and um, books and art are a uh, sort of band and there is an asexual um young lady named janelle who they call ellie and then you have an alien named morris his name is not maurice um it's like some coded type thing but it reads as maurice so um it's just them coming together and things like that the next book i got is a hero born um by jen young it's the first book in the legends of the condor heroes and this just sounds really epic so it's asian based fantasy i'm here for it Okay, so the next book I have is from Coco Ma, and I believe this is the sequel to Shadow Frost. Um, well, this is the sequel to Shadow Frost, excuse me, and it's called Godstorm, and I did get sent this for review. This book is just everything, guys. Like, it's kind of like an iridescent to the pinks and purples on this cover, and it's really, really soft and just stunning. Um, and there is a gorgeous map on the inside. I'm here for a book with maps, okay? 
we love mats but um yeah it's YA fantasy so we have this gorgeous book all right so the next four books are from the same author and I have been saying this author's name so wrong and I apologize I've been saying Bradley P. Bulu it's not Bulu and I'm probably gonna butcher it again I believe it's Bolio is how you pronounce it Bradley P. Bolio Hopefully I'm saying it right this time. If not, I apologize. But um, it is from the Songs of the Shattered Sands. I read, what was the name of the first book? <laughs> um, 12 Kings and Sharkai. Loved that book so much. So I did go and grab the other books because I needed it. Now, I got book five in my Jean Bookner Storytellers box. And then I ended up purchasing books two, three, and four. So book two is with Blood Upon the Sand. And it still follows the story of Cheda and Emery in um, the 12 Kings and Sharkai. The third book is called A Veil of Spears. I did get this one in paperback though, which is perfectly fine. Paperback is floppy, so we are fine with that. The fourth book is Beneath the Twisted Trees. And then the fifth book I did, like I said, get in my Jean Book Nerd Storytellers box so quickly. I had to go to that, but it's When Jackal Stormed the Walls. Here we go. And this cover is gorgeous. I love the covers, the colors on here. So we have this. Four more books to go. Four more books to go. So um, then I have The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms of N.K. Jemison because I just needed to read this. I want to own all of her books in the individual form. I know I can get the bindup of the series for the Inheritance trilogy as well as her duology, but I want actual individual books and I want her anthology. Um, so yeah, we have this and I don't know much about this. It's adult fantasy. That's all I know. I have Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James, adult fantasy. Then I got this hefty book. Now this book looks a lot bigger than it is. It's only like 800 pages less than 800 pages but it looks so big because of the quality of the paper they're using but it's legacy of ash by matthew ward and this is a military-based adult fantasy and the last book i got i actually picked this up at um walmart for only 20 bucks which i was here for because this book actually retails for 30 dollars and it's to sleep in a sea of stars by christopher paolini i have never read the aragon series like ever i think there's a movie based on it that i watched or there was a movie inspired by it don't know but i did watch a movie that looked like it um so if there is a movie i did watch it but um the books never read it so i definitely wanted to get my hands on this i've seen many great reviews about it it is a 100 page book this kind of leans towards um sarah j moss's crescent city um how that book was just massive for no reason i've heard the same thing concerning this that it was really elongated when it didn't need to be but it was still good People had the same thoughts with House of Earth and Blood by um, Sarah J. Maas. So I this doesn't bother me, but this cover is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love that blue. Um, does this have a map in it? Not a map per se, but you have this thing. <laughs> it is sci-fi. I am not a sci-fi person whatsoever. So I'm hoping to like this. Fingers crossed. I know this is it talks about first contact with aliens. So I'm hoping to like it. A lot of other book supers that I watch enjoy it. So we have that. But um, yeah, that is it for all of these books. I know I didn't go into depth about each of these books because I have 40 books to share. And I didn't want to be on this video for way too long. But these are all the books. What I didn't mention was the Bradley P. Bolio. I think it's Bolio series Um, is adult fantasy, epic fantasy. So we have that. Um, But yeah, those are all the books that I got the month i purchased some i was sent some for review so we have a good mix but that is it for this video if you guys have read any of these purchased any of these um have any thoughts want to see videos on any of these let me know and i can definitely do that but i will see you guys in the next video bye